Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello, you guys. This is Marvin. Amber. And Liberty's behind us. Right and, behind us. And we're with the family. Oh, um, it's Sunday here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we wanted to do this video. Uh, we've been getting a lot of requests to uh, talk about in more detail for individuals that are interested in purchasing their first share of stock. Here's Liberty. <laughs> and... Um, We've posted about it on our Instagram and Facebook. If you mm -hmm. followed us, we are very, very big on investing mm -hmm. and uh, growing our family's wealth and having a, a legacy to pass down to our daughter right. uh, and her children's children's children. So um, one of the ways that you can do that is by ownership. And so investing consists of a lot of different uh, moving pieces, but trust us, guys, it's not as difficult as you might think it it's is. It's really not. And it, it can actually be very fun yeah. because we're going to show you guys um, some ways that you can invest with everyday um, type of um, companies that you use, whether it's with grocery shopping, um, shopping mall, um, your vehicle, whatever have you. So, yeah. so we're going to yeah. show you guys how you can buy your first share, first share of stock mm -hmm. today in like less than 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, before we continue, um, please be sure if you are not uh, on our Facebook page, be sure to give us a like on our Facebook channel. It's at The Real Family O. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, what you're going to need to start uh, and purchase your very first share of stock is you only need one thing, and that is <laughs> da -da -da -da, a cell phone. <laughs> Can you guys believe it? Back in the day, just to give you a little bit of context of history, uh, if you wanted to purchase a share of stock, you typically had to like contact mm -hmm. the companies directly. I'm talking about Johnson & Johnson. Um, what's some other companies? Uh, Walmart. Walmart, stuff mm -hmm. like that. You had to reach out to them yeah. or work through what's called a, a brokerage. And that is like if you've heard of Scott Trade, E-Trade, those type of companies. And they will do the legwork for you as far as purchasing your first share of stock or multiple shares of stock but they typically will charge you a pretty significant commission to do that work. So now in technology in general, um, things have just gotten uh, better, faster, mm -hmm. easier, that you can actually purchase your first share of stock with a simple app that doesn't charge you any commission. And it's mm -hmm. called the Robinhood app. Yeah. And you might be asking yourself, Marvin and Amber, you know, well, well where can I start? What, what company, what stock should I buy? I don't know what, where to start. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll give you some very surface information because, of course, this is not financial advice and it shouldn't be taken as such. But we're telling you how we go about our particular strategy mm -hmm. um, as one part of, of uh, growing our family's uh, wealth. So the easiest thing that I would say to do, and this is how we we'll talked about it, is just start with the companies that you're familiar with. Yep. What are some places that we typically spend a lot of our money yeah, on? Yeah, well, you, everyone goes grocery shopping usually, you know, uh, once or twice uh, a month, I, I would assume. We go yeah. every week. Yeah. We just buy for the week. And so we shop at um, Sprouts in particular. We shop at Aldi, mm -hmm. um, sometimes Walmart, Kroger. And out of those that I just named, we have um, stocks in Sprout as well as in Kroger. Yes. Um, um, we started there mm -hmm. because Walmart mm -hmm. stock is kind of up there now yeah. and we personally for a couple of reasons we like Walmart but you know they um, we frequent Kroger's and Sprouts mm -hmm. more often yes. um, because from a health standpoint they tend to have a lot of the mm -hmm. choices healthier choices organic choices yeah. um, a wider variety and then just to be very um, basic with it Walmart fruit goes bad very easily <laughs> <laughs> with for whatever reason a fruit just don't yeah. be holding it down yeah. But uh, Sprouts and Kroger's tends to, to last on a regular basis. So we get a lot of our fresh fruit and vegetables uh, from there. So what we'll do right now is um, I'm going to share this screen. Uh, and this is the particular app that we use called the Robin Hood app. Um, just to let you know, if you don't have the Robin Hood app, before you go and run and download it from your app store, if you're on iPhone or Android, we actually have a referral link that if you click our link to download the app, um, you get a, a free share of stock. And we, full disclosure, we get a share of stock as well. Yeah. But we want to encourage others to get started. And if you're able to do it, starting out with a free share of stock, well, that's a, a blessing. A little boost, yeah. Yeah, a great way to get started. Mm -hmm. So... 
Um, do you have anything you want to tell the folks while I'm pulling this up here? What I just wanted to mention, as Bay was saying, um, it's really not as intimidating to go ahead and get started with your um, portfolio because um, – if you think about, you know, the fact that you're going to be spending money anyway on your everyday things, and then you just kind of think about, well, where is it that I'm going, right. you know, on a consistent basis, then go ahead and look into that and then go ahead and say, okay, this is where I can be planting some money to go ahead and, you know, build the future for me and my family. Yeah. Um, and for me, because I'm, you know, I'm going to be honest with y'all, this is really, this is the finance man right here. So yeah. I'm just, you know, he's the CEO and I'm the co-CEO on this, but this is his line and the way he he explained it to me makes it so much more enjoyable and makes me more interested yeah. because I'm looking at it from a standpoint of familiarity you know what I'm used to all the time yeah. so I think that that's just like a way to help with the uh intimidation that may come along with this whole finance world and talking about it and you know a lot of times we don't want people to tell us what to do with our money yeah. but if you kind of take ownership of it and look at it from the standpoint of well wait a minute this is I'm going these places anyway yeah. you know and not only that, you know, you don't want to be up in age and then, you know, you're kind of wondering, you know, what am I going to do for retirement if you yeah. start now, right? It's a great, yeah. it's a, mm -hmm. owning stocks is just a, a piece mm -hmm. of a financial, like, pie that you're trying to build. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a great place to, to start. Yeah. But if you're ready to do more in-depth type of investing and you, look, you just got money laying around, uh, we suggest seeking the counsel of a good uh, licensed mm -hmm. financial advisor. Mm -hmm. Everybody uses the word financial advisor, but look for the ones that are actually licensed and ask them what their licenses are. And the key word is, are they a fiduciary? Mm -hmm. Those are the main things. And that's, you know, where I would tell anybody to start. But everyday people, uh, anybody, me, you, yeah. regular people, uh, this is one good place to start. And then the Acorns, if you want just more diversity, you can also get the link in our description below. The Acorns app gives you a little bit of ownership in a bunch of different companies mm -hmm. across several different um, industries. So that's just more like diversity. But this, what we're talking about today, mm -hmm. is how you can, if you want to purchase a stock from a specific company mm -hmm. that you're familiar with and you just want to say, I own yeah. a piece of this company, we talked about a couple of weeks ago how we went to see Black Panther mm -hmm. and we bought Disney stock because we wanted to have a piece of Disney stock. Exactly. And when you own the stock, you start getting like correspondences via yeah. email that give you the right to uh, vote for changes going on uh, with the company and stuff like that. Because when you own the stock, you are an owner mm -hmm. in the company. So um, we'll get right into it. I just yeah. wanted to... Um, have my baby kind of break it down. And like I said, <laughs> if, if you have any questions, I'm thinking that, you know, uh, we're not 100% sure yet, but we want to probably start like a Facebook group of some sort. Yeah. We'll announce it, I'm sure, in a future video. Yeah. For those of you that are really interested in stuff pertaining to like money mm -hmm. and finance for your family, because we talk about a lot of different subjects. Yeah. Uh, some of you join this channel because of the. God bless bless you. you, beautiful. Some of you are joining this channel because of the vegan videos. Mm -hmm. Some of you are joining the channel because of the travel. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that are interested in the money aspect of it, um, we're going to do more videos yeah. like this. But if you really want to drill down, we're probably going to do a, a, group, a Facebook group or something. So anyway, so we're logging into, we logged into our Robinhood app. Now, once you've downloaded the app, you have to link it to your bank first. Um, it's fully secure, bank level security. Don't worry about hacking and stuff like that. Uh, we should always be worried about that, but we haven't had any issues and we've mm -hmm. had our account for over a year at this point. Yeah. So once you've linked it to your account, you'll transfer an initial amount that you want to start out with and it'll just sit there in a kind of a temporary status until you're ready to actually start buying your first stop. So I'm going to share the screen right now mm -hmm. so you guys can see uh, what it is that we're talking about. Hold on. It's coming up, you guys. It's coming up in a moment. Okay. Yeah, you, you right. guys are going to see how simple this is. So you see it now. Here it is. This is the Robinhood app here. We're logged in. So we're going to buy stock mm -hmm. like right now so you guys can see exactly how easy it is. We're going to get more sprouts. So we're going to, yeah, we'll get some yeah. more sprouts. We, we just shopped there yesterday. And what we told ourselves yeah. is um, just kind of a way to challenge ourselves um, whenever we go shopping to a place. Um, that we we spent money on more than once, then we're gonna make sure to buy one share of um, of stock. So that's what we that's kind of a way to challenge ourselves. And when this um the thing is when you buy that stock, guys, it's not like it just goes away and you never have access to that money. The objective for us 
is to hold on to that stock for at minimum the next five to 10 years. We might sell it in the future, we might not, but the objective whenever we buy a stock is what's called buy and hold. That's what, that's what we are. So um, some people buy stock and then immediately sell it. Those are called day traders. We don't get into all that because it's just not, um, it's kind of gambling in a sense. Yeah. And that's just not, that's not, that's not our objective. Look, we have day jobs. We got day jobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you, some people make a lot of money doing yeah. that stuff, but we, that's just not where we're Yeah. Yeah. We're more into the long term. Long term. Yeah. So, which yeah. is, you know, that's fine. For what anybody wants to do, yeah. you know, with, with their investment. But yeah, we're long term. So we're here on the main screen here. Once you've gotten your account linked with your bank and set up and everything, you start searching for stocks. And so you can just Google your favorite company. We we just bought groceries. So like I was saying, what we will do is when we buy stock, I don't know if you guys can see this. Mm -hmm. um, when we buy stock, when we go grocery shopping, we want to buy a share of stock when, whenever we do that. So yeah. we'll, we went to Sprouts. So we'll type in Sprouts here. You just start typing the name and typically it'll show uh, the right. stock. And here it is, Sprouts right there. So we click that. The stock right now is going for $23.81. Mm -hmm. So you too can be an owner in Sprouts stock for 23 bucks. You can't, you can't beat that. Some companies are more expensive. But yeah, but this is a good, we think that this is a really good price. Like it's not yeah. like overly crazy. This would be a meal. Like if we went to go eat like on our day nights, for example, this mm -hmm. would be a, a meal. For sure. You know, so mm -hmm. for you, it could be, I don't know, a pair of shoes or <laughs> a belt or whatever have you, but. Yeah. And so you can scroll down here and it tells you information about the statistics of mm -hmm. the uh, particular stock. Uh, says it's volatility level. Volatility just means how risky something is. Mm -hmm. So volatility level is low. So that's mm -hmm. a good thing. That's a, a good that's a good sign. And the earnings history and all this stuff. Basic information about the stock is actually here within the Robinhood app. Mm -hmm. But I always encourage people to go on Google and look up what's called white paper. The white paper gives you the real guts about any particular company. So. It talks about Sprouts at the bottom. It uh, engages in the provision of healthy grocery stores, specializes fresh, natural, organic, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're going to buy the stock. And if you want to see how it's performed in the one day, the one W, that means one week, mm -hmm. one M, one month, three month, one year, five year. So we look at all yeah. those things. And as long as there's uh, a significant trend in the positive direction, uh, that is something that we we look at more mm -hmm. than likely we're gonna uh, purchase it. But again, we spend our money here, so that's why yeah. we're gonna buy the stock. So we're gonna hit the uh, button on below if you see here that says trade. Mm -hmm. So I'm you, sorry, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Libby has a quick question for you. Oh, go ahead, Liberty. Oh, she wants me to ask you. Can Liberty eat the rest of her bar, please? Liberty can eat the rest of her bar. Okay, there you go. All right. <laughs> So we want to buy the stock here. Mm -hmm. And so you just hit the trade button below. And then I'm going to push that button. And then it's asking if we want to buy or sell. Mm -hmm. The reason it's giving us both options is because we own some of the stock. So that's why it's asking us if we want to sell our stock. But we don't. So we just want to buy. We mm -hmm. click buy. Then it asks us how many shares of Sprouts do we want to buy. And we just want to buy one because we're only getting one. Per week. Per week, yeah. And uh, Or every time we go shopping here. So we click one. Then it's going to ask us to review. And so we moved a couple dollars for this particular video. If you see at the top, $104, we moved that money over because mm -hmm. we want to buy a couple of different stocks today mm -hmm. to show you guys how to do it. Yeah. So you click review. And then it's going to tell you that your order, uh, you're placing an order uh, for day market uh, to buy one share. Your order will be placed after the market opens and is executed at the best available price. What that means is the stock market is open from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. Central uh, cent Eastern Time, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're making an order for a stock outside of those parameters, then it'll go into effect when the stock reopens. In mm -hmm. this instance, because it's Sunday, it'll go into effect morning. on tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. All right, so in order to uh, submit your order, you just swipe up. And hold on, order's been received. Yay. And that's it. So now we own an additional share of, uh, of uh, what is it, Sprouts. Mm -hmm. We own so much, I'd be forgetting. Yeah. And so, and that's it. So, um, 
you really can't beat that. Um, do you want to order any other stocks? Any other companies? I'm trying you think to think of? of where else have we been recently. Um, we went to uh, oh five below. We went to five below. Yeah, we ex we exchanged. We had exchanged something, so we didn't actually buy anything. But any other places you can um, think of? Cool. No. We didn't go to Kroger recently. We haven't been to Kroger. No. Okay. Well, let's find uh, a good cheap one that I can show you guys because mm -hmm. it's kind of intimidating when you guys think about stocks. I don't know anything about stocks. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know anything about stocks, but what they do is yeah. that they read. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, cable TV yeah. is, is kind of good, but it's a lot of noise. But there's a lot of good information on online. Yeah, it really is. And then a lot of people, too, that are in the financial world sometimes, like they know that this stuff can be <laughs> intimidating, some of them, and they don't help to make it you know, more practical for people. So that's our objective, you guys, in this video is to make it more practical, you know, where you you look at it as like, oh, this is something I could just, you know, do. It's not anything super challenging. Exactly. And they got, even like now, as we're looking at the screen, they have all these squiggly lines and it just looks like just really important. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just glad my husband, this is my husband's field. And so. see, I had to learn this stuff, but it yeah. was, it's not it's not rocket science. It yeah. really, it really isn't. But it does take, uh, some due diligence mm -hmm. and there are a lot of good books that you can get that'll get mm -hmm. you started uh, on uh, investing. What, what so let me go grab them. Hold on mm -hmm. a second. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Talk to the bike. Okay. Well, <laughs> so this is like off the subject for a moment, you guys, but I just wanted to mention that this is our new Airbnb. We hadn't um, done like a little tour or just anything of it, but that's where we're at. So that's why it looks a little bit different from the previous videos that you guys have seen. And um, it's very comfortable spot because it's very spacious. Libby is not bouncing off the wall like she was previously because we were in this little box, you know, but we were grateful for that nevertheless. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be doing a lot more recording um, in here since we have more space. It's more comfortable. We can stretch out a little bit, right, babe? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. All right. All so, right. two books that I'm reading right now. Thank you for holding it down. You're welcome. I'll just talking about the Airbnb. Yes, mm -hmm. a lot more space in here. Yeah. Thank God. Um, this is a good book right here. Money Master of the Game by Tony Robbins. Mm -hmm. um, we also like uh, Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey, yeah. Anything by Dave Ramsey is a good start to as far as like investing. He's not really a fan of buying individual stocks. And we don't recommend individual stocks for a significant portion of your disposable income. Yeah. We only recommend uh, significant, you know, specific stocks if you want to just add mm -hmm. ownership in specific companies that you, you, you find value in, maybe you have a parent that mm -hmm. worked for Southwest Airlines yeah. or, you know, it's Nike. Mm -hmm. We always say if you're spending a lot of money on certain brands, you better be looking at owning some stuff. We got yeah. some Nike shoes not too yeah. long ago. And uh, oh, I'm out of breath. Because <laughs> he was running. Was running. Mm -hmm. Here's another book. Warren Buffett, uh, The Art of Stock Arbitrage. Mm -hmm. Anything that has to do with this guy here, Warren Buffett, is going to be really, really uh, good information. Mm -hmm. And you guys, these books came from the library. library. Yeah, so you don't even have to, like, Purchase them or buy them. And funny story is that Babe has had this book for like several weeks with you guys. You see how thick this it's, book is? It's old chewy book. Yeah. It's like 600 pages. Yeah, so he's been like reading, you know, little by little, getting through it. And so we went to the library the last time. He yeah. thought he was going to have to, you know, give it back. But he was able to check it out again for another, was it? Uh, another two weeks. Two weeks. I think yeah. they, I'm going to bring it back this time. As long as nobody has requested it, yeah. you can keep uh, checking it out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to buy one more share of stock while we're here. Uh, you want to get some JCPenney Yeah, stock? that sounds good. All right, so we're going to get some JCPenney stock. The stock right now is uh, $3.22. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So that's really cheap. And so you can really get a couple of shares if you wanted to, but we're only going to just get one more just to show yeah, you guys. Yeah, just to show you guys. Yeah, so let me share the <clears> screen <throat> here. And with J.C. Penney's, you guys, that's, we take our uh, family portraits there every single year for Christmas. We've been doing it for many years, but yeah. when it was just Babe and I, and now that Liv is here, we've, we've just been doing it. So we felt like, oh, this could work, and it's dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Look yeah. at that. Look, look $3.22. $3 and the stock is down right now, but again, it doesn't matter. We're not in it to mm -hmm. make a quick buck. Um, a lot of people might say, well, why would you buy a stock uh, when it's down? Well, for me, that shows that it's at a discount. Mm -hmm. Anytime you see something in the red, that means you are buying it at lower than uh, what it's traditionally at. If you're looking at the particular, what's mm -hmm. called the, the trend line, it's showing you kind of how it's moved through the last day. 
And if we look at the uh, one year, for example, the trend is showing not so good. It's been in the red. Neither has it been very good here. So needless to say, we wouldn't buy a lot of shares of this yeah. because in the last five years, it hasn't done very well. But again, we use JC we Penny, use it, yeah. So we're just adding it to our portfolio. Yeah. So we'll get one more share of this. We're and then trade. we're going to trade. We're going to buy. I'm going to click uh, one share. That's all we want. And then click review. And then just swipe up like that. And bam. Mm -hmm. We own another share of JCPenney stock. All right, so um, that's it, guys. We just wanted to show you guys how uh, completely simple mm -hmm. it is to purchase stock. Um, if this is something that is important to you or you find value in it, um, we recommend, especially if you are uh, one of the individuals that have really wanted to learn about the stock market and stuff like that and learn more information. We got more videos coming, mm -hmm. but there's a wealth of information uh, yeah. on YouTube as well as like Facebook. Yeah, and I just wanted to add too, Babe mentioned about Dave Ramsey earlier. Um, literally, you can go on YouTube, like Babe was just saying, and he has like countless shows on there. He has a, um, what is it called? Is it called a podcast a that podcast, he does? Okay, yeah. he, he does a podcast as well. And like, I really like Dave Ramsey because he's hilarious. He He'll is. just tell he, it like it is. He he's, get it real. Yes, he's a straightforward person. And so when he's talking to the different clients or people that are reaching out to him, rather, um, it's a bunch of um, practical, very practical advice. Like people call in for all types of reasons. Yeah. Um, it could be, um, I want to buy this new car. Um, I have this amount of money put away, um, and but I have this amount of money in debt, for example. And right. he will help you to be able to, you know, kind of figure out based on his own um, experience. experience. Um, and he is a, a faith-based person too, so that that. For us, we enjoy that part about it as well. Yes. Um, you know, whether it's something that he feels that you would be able to do. And he asks, like, questions that you're not even thinking about, like all yeah. those hard questions and stuff. Yeah. But it's in a way I feel like I'm only saying Dave Rams because it's more enjoyable to actually hear him talk and, and listen. And so hopefully that will take a little bit of, for those of us that have that uh, anxiousness about money, you yeah. know, to kind of take a little bit of that off. Now, he's going to give it to you straight, but... You know. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and again, it's all about action. You know, yeah. you might watch this and be like, ah, oh, that's mm -hmm. I don't even want to fool with that. But you can't get what's called paralysis of mm -hmm. the analysis. We're just presenting an option yeah. to you. Um we would suggest if you've got money just sitting in your checking account mm -hmm. that you know you weren't gonna mess with anyway, and rather than getting point zero two percent by mm -hmm. in your bank, because no bank is really paying mm -hmm. much of anything in interest. Why not start looking at uh, squirreling a little bit of it exactly. away in the stock market? Because people are making like a lot of money in the mm -hmm. stock market and you can lose money, obviously, but you have to be uh, what's called diversified. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the, that's the best protection against losing a lot of your money. You could always lose money, but if you're diversified, the assumption is if one thing is up and one thing is down, mm -hmm. well, the one that's up will kind of take up for the one that's down. And yeah things will kind of stay very uh, evened out. Mm -hmm. So um, again, this isn't financial advice and no. I, we don't want you guys to say, the family, <laughs> the family. told me to buy a uh, thousand shares of, no. of this company. I you lost money. Let's do just one just in one. the examples, first yeah. of all. And you have to use your discretion, you know, yes. what you feel, you know, that, that you should do based on your resources and your household and things of that nature. Yeah, no, no, no. And I, I totally, totally mm -hmm. understand. And, and, and we just feel like, um, for us, it's something that we had to learn over mm -hmm. a period of time, and we just took our we took baby steps, yeah. and that's what we're telling you to do. Just right now, after you watch this video, think about the places that you spend your money on on a regular basis, yeah. and use the Robinhood app right now, and just start seeing, you know, if there's stock available for that company, and if so, how much, and just just buy one, just yeah. see, you know, see and see how it feels. Once you start to do it. You're like, oh, wow, this wasn't such a big mm -hmm. deal. And if you decide tomorrow you don't or next week you don't like this stuff anymore, you can always pull your money back out. Now, granted, you know, it could fluctuate a little bit because it is you did buy stock. Mm -hmm. um, so it is subject to the performance of that company and all that stuff on a daily basis. But this isn't a situation where you, you can never get access to your money. Mm -hmm. um, it's just another place, in my opinion, that's like a, a better than just sitting in a check and yeah, a savings. Yeah, a savings account, yeah. 
Yeah. So, mm-hmm. all right, guys. So that's it, guys. We don't know how long we've been recording here. Yeah. Um, we're using a different Kept format. Looking, yeah. But um, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below if you have downloaded the Robinhood app and um, share some of your top picks as far mm-hmm. as stocks that you are currently owning. Um, let's get this conversation going. There's many people that are going to watch this video that are going to make that first leap. And by those of you out there that have already bought stock, stocks and other ways of investing, um, let us let us know your experience. We love it. This yeah. is just a feather in our financial toolkit hat. Or tool hat? A tool hat. A feather in our cap. Toolkit. I don't know. Hat, I don't know. hat kit. It's a feather from Who a knows? chicken. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> it's just one piece of how mm-hmm. we are uh, growing our uh, wealth for our daughter mm-hmm. and her children and her children's children's children. So until then, guys, this is Marvin. And Amber. And Liberties in the background family, yo. Yeah. And, and uh, thank we'll, you for watching. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with another good video. Bye. Peace.